What is up guys, GiantSanami01 here with another FIFA 17 attacking tutorial. We're going to actually be talking about the long pass. We're going to be focusing on all the different long passes in FIFA 17 that will really help you out with the counter attack and with going on the quick attack, guys. As always, though, make sure to check out all my previous tutorials. I got to everything in FIFA 17, including attacking, defending, passing. You name it, I got it. Make sure to subscribe so miss any future ones. In order to know when there is a good long pass opportunity, when you should be doing a long pass, you have to look at your radar. So you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll find your radar. If you see someone open or you see someone making a run and they're a long distance from you, you have to do the long pass. And a lot of times you can't see that naturally. So by looking at the radar, you're able to see it and see who's open and see that you do have to do some sort of a long pass in order to successfully get the ball to him. So there are four main long passes we're going to be talking about here in this tutorial. The first one that we're going to start off with is the lob pass which is done by pressing the X button on Xbox or the square button on PlayStation. So here you see an example. I looked at my radar. I saw there was an open player. There was no way I was going to be able to do a regular pass. It would be far too slow. So by doing the lob pass, I'm able to get it to him quickly and over any feet that might be in the way, any defenders that might be in the way. Very, very important. Because I looked at my radar, I was able to see that he was open and was able to successfully get the ball to him. It's very, very important for switching pitch. For when those defenders are playing high pressure on you and they're all to one side of the pitch, you do the lob pass, you switch the pitch, and you're able to really gain some space and be able to abuse those high pressure defenders. And of course, this is also really good for regular crosses, guys. Lob pass, you see someone in the middle of the pitch waiting for that header goal. You do him a lob pass, get the ball to him. There's a bunch of different crosses. I have tutorials on the crosses, and you're able to score a ton of goals by doing the lob pass in those situations. Then we move over to the driven pass, guys. The driven pass is done by pressing the RB and the A button if you're on Xbox, or the R1 and the X button. You press them both at the same time. Driven pass is a key to quick attack and a key to the counter attack, guys. You should be constantly doing driven passes in order to get the ball to these players quickly. As you're seeing here, these are a bunch of different driven passes. Players making a run. I need to get the ball to him quickly. A regular pass would just be too slow. Defender will be able to react to it, take it away from you. So do a driven pass in these situations, and that will allow you to add a lot more power for the ball to get there a lot quicker. Here's another example. Once again, there's a defender in the way. If I did a regular pass, it would be very easy for him to take that away from him. So I end up doing the driven pass, able to get the ball perfectly for him. I didn't lead him, so I didn't do it through ball I just did a regular driven pass I catch defenders by surprise as you see there and cause him to foul me very very good for those counter attack and for those quick attack you want to get the ball quickly up the pitch do the driven pass it gives you more pace a lot more speed into those passes and you're able to quickly attack and you're able to score a lot more goals so you definitely definitely should be doing these driven passes when there's a long distance and you need to do a quick attack next up we got the lob through ball which is done by pressing the lb and the y button if you're on xbox or the l1 and the triangle button if you're on playstation the lob through ball is very very good when you see again there's a long distance ahead of you. The player's making a nice little run and you want to lead him with the pass. But very important, there's a defender in the way. There's a defender in the passing lane. So if you would do a regular through ball, he would be able to easily take it away from you. So in that case, do the lob through ball. It is the best pass to do in that situation. Very important that you guys note though, for the lob through ball, it will slow your attacker down. The person you're passing the ball to, it will slow it down. It's not nearly as accurate as some of the other passes I've shown you. So keep that in mind. Don't just constantly spam it. Don't just do it all the time. Try to keep that at a minimum. Only when you see that your player is making a nice little run. He's got some space where the passes have to be extremely accurate. And there's somebody in the passing lane. That is when you should be doing the lob through ball. Allows you to gain some space and allows you to lead your player. Then lastly guys, a new pass added in FIFA 17. The threaded through ball. 
The threaded through ball is done by pressing the RB and the Y button if you're on Xbox or the R1 and triangle if you're on PlayStation. You want to press them both at the same time. And just like the driven pass, the threaded through ball is a through ball but with more pace, much quicker, much faster, and allows you to thread it into these really, really tight windows. Hence the name. As you're seeing here, you lead those players, they're making runs, and you lead them with the threaded through ball. And now I find this pass to be much better than the lob through ball because you don't slow down. See, in the lob through ball, like I told you guys, you're going to slow down. It's not nearly as accurate. With the threaded through ball, just like the driven pass, is a lot more accurate. But if there's somebody in the way, if there's a defender in the way, he will be able to take it away from you. It doesn't matter how fast the pass is. He will be able to deflect it away from your intended receiver and it won't get to him. But if there is an open passing lane and you do the threat through ball correctly, the great part about it is you're not going to lose much speed. He's going to be a much easier first touch than the lob through ball. So try to get thread through ball and a regular through ball as often as possible in your attack. That is it guys. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. Just a little rundown on all the different long passes in FIFA 17 so you can get on those quick attacks and those counter attacks guys. Make sure to check out the boxes here for the rest of my series, including the rest of my tutorials, my top five videos, like my top five skill moves, my ultimate team, and my formation, guys. And of course, click in the middle to subscribe so you don't miss any future tutorials or tip videos. Thank you guys so 